Hi everyone, welcome to Indian Cooking with Suganti. Today I'm going to cook a very healthy greens. It's called Moringa leaves. In Tamil we call it Moringa Kirai. I'm going to show you three different recipes. I'm going to cook the Moringa leaves with egg, with coconut and with beans and vegetables. Moringa leaves with the beans and vegetable gravy. You can eat it with rice or you can just drink it like soup. If you have not subscribed to my channel Indian Cooking with Suganti Su, please subscribe and please click the bell button and also please click the word all A L M. Three healthy recipes with Moringa leaves, Moringa Kira. These leaves are from a tree. It's Moringa tree or drumstick tree. In English, the Moringa fruit is called drumstick because it looks like a stick. In my language Tamil, the drumstick is called Moringa Kai. Kai means unripe fruit. In southern India, every house used to have this Moringa tree in their yard. While growing up in southern India, this Moringa leaves, the fruit and the flowers used to be part of our daily meal. Now, the whole world has come to know about the benefits of the Moringa, just like the turmeric. Not only the leaves, the fruits and the flowers of this plant also very healthy. You can cook the flowers using the same recipes I'm going to show today. These Moringa leaves are very nutritious. It's filled with minerals and a lot of vitamins. And they have the same health benefits like the turmeric. These Moringa leaves, fruit and flowers are filled with antioxidants. And it um, strengthens our immune system and reduces any inflammation in the body, reduces our blood cholesterol, blood sugar, and also they say it can even protect us from cancer. This plant is a tropical plant. It only grows in hot weather. I've seen this growing in Hawaii and I've seen this in Fiji Islands also. This plant will not survive in cold weather. You're going to cook the Moringa leaves today. Let's see how to clean these leaves. You have to pluck only the leaves. All the stems, small and big, should be removed. It's very interesting to see the origin of the word Moringa. The word Moringa is originated from a Tamil word Moringa Kai. In Tamil language, the word Muruk means twisted or twisting. Look at the fruit, Moringa. Doesn't it look like a twisted stick? Muruk becomes like Murung, became Murung. In Tamil language, unripe fruit is called Kai. The word Moringa Kai is the name of the Moringa fruit in pure Tamil language. In daily conversation, we just call it in short Murunka. Instead of Moringa Kai, we just call it Murunka. Murunka became Morunka and then that evolved into Moringa. Okay, I think we should start the cooking. First, I'm going to show you how to prepare the Moringa with coconut, shredded coconut. Next, I'll show you how to cook the moringa with eggs and then I'll show you how to cook with split beans you can use any kind of split beans and then vegetables again you can use any vegetables of your preference beans takes a long time to cook so before we start the cooking let's wash the beans and boil it To this, add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and some curry leaves. 
and cook it in medium heat until the beans is nice and soft easily until it's easily mashable and put it aside should be in this consistency let's look at the ingredients we are going to use in the three recipes today garlic green chilies curry leaves nicely washed onions cut it into cubes and tomatoes cut it into small pieces and turmeric powder if you have turmeric root you can use that a piece of that and chili powder it's according to your taste as much as you want and some garam masala cumin powder and cumin seeds now let's start the cooking first recipe is moringa with coconut After you add the coconut, you just cook it for a few minutes until all the wetness in the coconut is gone. So now the moringa with coconut is ready. Our second recipe is moringa with eggs.
moringa with egg is ready. Our third recipe, moringa with beans and veggies. We already boiled the beans, so now we are going to mash it a little bit and make it a little softer and smoother. Don't mash it into a fine paste, it should be like this consistency. And put it aside. When you cook the greens with the vegetable, it's best to cook the vegetables first and then at the end add the greens. Today I just put everything together but the best way to do is um, cook the vegetable first and then add the leaves. Whenever I cook greens, I do not cover. Since I added the carrots and potatoes today, I am covering it. Usually what I do is I cook the vegetables and beans first and at the end I add the leaves. Once you add the leaves, I do not cover. Moringa gravy or moringa soup is ready. So now we have seen three healthy recipes made with moringa and you can be creative and come up with your own recipes. So let's have the moringa and bean gravy over rice. It's very delicious. 
can eat it with some aplam or some fried eggs. It's very healthy and very delicious. And today I'm going to have it with all moringa. Moringa with egg, moringa with coconut and moringa and bean gravy over rice. Please try it. You can also have this moringa with beans and veggie gravy as a soup. That's all my friends. I hope you enjoy today's video and uh, I will be back soon with more interesting and healthy recipes and until then take care and if you have not subscribed to my channel Indian Cooking with Suganti please subscribe and click the bell button and then you'll see the all ALL please click that also. Please take care and be safe and thank you for watching.